Hello everyone, in this video we will see drawing tools, paint tools and brush settings. Drawing tools are located on the left side of your screen. Here, you have paint, blend, erase, size, color, and opacity. In paint tool we have, types of painting tools, which are further divided into types of brushes. The first column has folders of painting tool. The second column has types of brushes. The first brush in the second column shows the selected brush. By clicking on the heart, you can add this brush to the favorites folder. If you click on the three dots, a menu will appear, which gives you the option to rename, duplicate, and restore settings of the selected brush. You can also do this for the unselected brush by pressing and holding the brush for three seconds. But now you can also hide any of the brush from the list of brushes. Favorited, created and downloaded brushes are always found in the dedicated folders located on top of the first column. In this segment of the video, we will talk about brush settings, and how you can get different effects by changing simple settings. You can access the settings by clicking on the button at the top right corner on the brush menu. On the top corner of the brush menu you will see, share, save copy and save settings. And at the bottom of the menu we have setting tabs, consisting stroke, head, texture, paint and special settings. Each setting affects different aspect of the brush. The first few settings in the stroke tab are basic brush settings, such as size, opacity and adhesion. Changing these settings won't affect the overall look of the brush. The setting all of us need is the smooth setting, it will remove the amount of jitter in the stroke. If you are a person with shaky hands, this setting is for you. If you need more size options, size range setting is for you. Wet edges let you overlap the edges of the stroke, it gives you feeling of using wet paint. It helps the stroke layer better while painting. Glazed stroke setting, gives a little bit of sheen and transparency to the stroke, it also let you blend the paint stroke with other colors on the canvas. You can also change the blending mood of the brush itself, this will allow you to have blending effect in the stroke rather than the whole layer. Next we have dynamic settings, this allows you to decide which external factors such as, pressure, velocity or tilt, will affect the stroke. You can turn them on or off and adjust their amount. The last two settings are size jitter, profile size and profile flow curve, jitter settings let you have random size of brush head in a stroke. Profile size and flow curves let you adjust brush head size and flow. The first settings in the head tab is source image, source is a drawing or an image of which your brush is made of. You can either choose a head image or import it from your own collection. By default, the brush head is a circle, so if you remove the source image, the head will revert back to a circle. After that we have style and flow which will decide the look of the brush head, but the important setting here is spacing, this will help you decide whether to make a stamp brush or continuous stroke brush. Next we have structure, softness, depth, angle and rotation, most of them are pretty self-explanatory, but structure and depth makes the brush more realistic, depth brings in the details and structure gives 3D effect like layering with paint knife. We also have stylus rotation and screen orientation, in which the head will orient itself according to the screen or stylus. Now we have dynamics, it is same as setting for the stroke but for head image, you also have extra dynamic option of scattering source image. Continuous jitter, will help you randomize the brush input. In stroke effect, jitter is not very impactful, but if you are using it in stamp form you will see a very diverse effect. You can randomize scatter, angle and flow. In texture tab, settings will only appear if you select or import a texture. The available texture settings are same as the head tab settings, but here they will only affect the selected texture. Next we have paint tab, settings in this tab will let you adjust the type, texture, and fluidity of the paint. The first available setting we have is mix in, which will help you mix in the paint with the is already available paint on the canvas. Next we have dilution, this will put out diluted paint. After that, we have paint blend option, here you have blur, pull and flow. Pull will allow you to pull in nearby paint, and if you have sample layer below on, then you can also pull in paint from layers below. Lastly we have initial jitter and continuous jitter, initial jitter allow you to randomize the starting point of the brush, while continuous jitter will randomize selected option throughout the stroke. Finally, we have special tab, here you can add watercolors, screen tones, and filters to the brush. These settings are only applicable when you turn them on. Watercolors settings will let you adjust settings to get the perfect watercolor effect. You can adjust bleed, mix in, glaze and dry out. Screen tone, will let you apply screen tone effect on any brush, you can adjust the size and angle of the tones, you can also scale them to the size of the brush. 
Lastly, we have filters, this will help you create a filter brush, that will apply filter to an already existing stroke or create a new filtered stroke. Please remember that each setting, we have covered so far can affect another setting some way or the other, so you have to keep adjusting them to get the desired effect. That's it for this video, thank you for watching. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe.